Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make these squishy stickers. I'm going to show two different ways that you can make these. So for the first method, I'll be using these spot dot cushion stickers. I originally bought these for my shoe, but they didn't work, so I'm going to turn these into squishy stickers. It's a very thin piece of foam, so it's not going to be slow rising, but it is still squishy. For the nude colored one, I just drew out an outline of the sticker I wanted. For this one, I'm going with a bear. And then you want to cut it out. So it should look something like this now, and on the back side it's not going to be perfect, but that's fine. For the black cushion stickers, I'm going to use puppy paint to paint out the outline. I would use a pen for this, but obviously I can't see the outline with a black pen. This one is going to be a gummy bear sticker. After the paint completely dries, you can cut it out. I'm also going to make a bunny one. Next, I'm going to tape all these stickers onto a popsicle stick so it's easier to paint. For this golden brown color, I mix brown, white, and yellow. I'm painting the gummy bear with my favorite color, which is blue. And don't forget to also paint the sides of the sticker. I'm going to paint the bunny yellow because it goes well with the blue color. And for the final steps, I'm going to use a toothpick to paint on the details. As always, I had to paint most of this off camera because I always seem to mess up on this part. I'm going to peel these off the popsicle stick now very slowly so that I don't peel the sticker on the back. So here are the finished squishy stickers. As you can see, I went with a very cute vibe because that's my style. But feel free to be creative with these and make whatever sticker that you want. These squishies do look cute on the front, but they're a bit messy on the back side. But hey, these are meant to be sticked on, so it's not like anybody's gonna know. Moving on to the second method. So for this method, you're going to need a sponge of your choice. I'm using memory foam. You also want to start this off by drawing out an outline of whatever sticker you're going to make. I was going to do a cool transition on this part, but I totally forgot about it on the next scene. So that was kind of awkward. Anyways, if you guys can't tell already, I'm making a avocado for this one. You want at least three layers of puffy paint to cover up all the holes and make the squishy slow rising. I didn't paint the entire painting process for this part, so I'm just going to skip to the finished product. Oop, I'm dropping everything in this video. This one turned out a little bit more slow rising than the other one. And the final step is to glue down double sided tape on the back side. And I'm using hot glue to glue it down. I bought my double sided tape from Daiso. If you don't have glue, you can try using the double sided tape by itself, but it might fall off. And now you have your finished squishy sticker. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.